this is Tamara Hergert and I am a founder of the Empowered Artist Community. Today I will be talking about uh, different methods of pricing your art. So uh, there are different factors that you need to consider um, when you're trying to figure out the price for a specific artwork or a project. Uh, number one is consider your materials and time, of course. Um, that makes sense because uh, the time you spend, your time is your, uh, you know, time is money, and so the time that you spent on a project uh, always costs you something. And so, uh, also materials, but it's not just the um, uh, obvious materials like the paint and canvas or paint, uh, you know, pencils and paper. It's also uh, price of apps that you're using or have purchased for that specific project. Uh, it could be some kind of uh, licenses uh, that you purchased to complete this project. Uh, it could be um, some sort of insurance that you had to uh, to get to uh, in order to be insured and covered uh, for that specific project. And also, also, of course, you know, shipping costs and uh, delivery costs and installation costs that you may need to incur. So all of that should go into calculation of the uh, price plus whatever tax you um, may have to pay um, as um, a um, sole proprietor doing business uh, as an artist. So we artists are uh, business people, even though we are not um, uh, often thinking of ourselves as that that way in that way but uh when you're creating something for somebody um or selling them something it's basically you are are in business <laughs> and it's in that business is called art business and you uh need to think of uh, your art works as products and as uh, and of your art services uh as uh, as services so uh they may be taxable in um, not only in your state uh, but also in your city and um, um, on your federal tax return you would also um, submit a tax so uh, basically uh, consider adding uh, like 20 percent for tax and that would be just a ballpark rough number uh, the second component of um, uh, pricing your art would be um, looking at the market and uh, seeing what other artists are charging for similar uh, for similar projects or similar artworks. Uh, so this can be challenging because every, you know every piece of art is unique, and uh, every artist uh, has different prominence online. And so what you may be charging uh, could be quite higher than some other artists may be charging because you are more prominent. Your website is stronger. You have uh, more connections with galleries. You um, have uh, um, a collector uh, following or base, um, you know, through your emails um, or through your social media following. And Overall, you just may have already built a, you know, a more solid foundation for um, uh, selling your art than uh, some other artists. So factor that in. Another uh, thing to factor in is your skill level. So uh, think of it this way. So your skill level and prominence like big name clients that you may have already had your social media following and your other media appearances or features um, that sort of goes into that bundle as well if you're a skilled artist you may be able to charge more for your art and if you're both skilled and prominent then it needs to be factored in for sure so uh, and Another factor to consider is your target audience. Basically, who is your um, ideal client? Who are, who are you trying to sell your art to? And if you're targeting high-end collectors, 
and then you need to uh, put your art in uh, in a setting that reflects that basically you know digitally inlay your artworks in a higher end uh, type of uh, decor and setting and you need to price your art accordingly and the <laughs> the advice i can give you um in addition to all of these factors i would just say uh, play around and be flexible see what works for you um, do your research and then um, be patient and be uh, realistic because um, it's uh, like fumbling for a light switch in the dark you sort of just um, need to try different things and see what um, which one works for you which one you know what price is your uh, your price that you feel comfortable with uh, and there you know of course there are specific formulas that you can use to price your art uh, one of the most common one is called cost plus pricing which is like the most basic way to price your art you simply add up the cost of materials and time and then add a markup to that and then the second model would be um, called competitive pricing and this method involves pricing your art similarly to other artists who create similar work and so that's also a good model and the third model would be value-based pricing so this method involves pricing your art based on the value you believe it has and so this is a more subjective method but it can be a good way to price your art if you believe it is truly um, valuable so um, also it, it would be a good idea to just price your art using all three methods and then choose an average of the three that would be my suggestion and uh, uh, always go with your gut whatever your gut is telling you that's the right price um, because in the end if the client or a customer pays that price it will feel good <laughs> um, so the best the best pricing method for you will depend on your individual circumstances of course um, and I would say just uh, no matter which method you choose, it's important to be consistent with your pricing. So if you're pricing your artworks um, uh, one way on one platform, that needs to sort of come across uh, the same way uh, on the rest, rest of the internet, <laughs> on the other platforms, on your website too, or like on social media, if you have it listed on uh, Facebook, storefront, or uh, Instagram there too. So uh, this will help you you build a reputation as a fair and reliable artist. So I would just go with uh, your gut and feel uh, and see what feels right. And um, also consider taking our free masterclass called Pricing Commission Projects. You will learn how much to charge for commission artworks, murals, and digital art when someone reaches out to you and wants you to create something special for them. So sign up now before we start charging a regular price of $150 for it. So right now it is free to you. Uh, go ahead and sign up. It is uh, free and on demand. Only 20 minutes uh, loan and it is invaluable. Okay, uh, I hope this was helpful. Um, feel free to um, shoot, shoot us an email if you have any questions and um, keep listening to our podcast and check out our YouTube channel, subscribe there. And um, we, also, uh, we also have an Instagram account. So follow us on Instagram and like us on Facebook. Thank you very much. And I will talk to you in the next episode. Bye for now.